hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be taking you with me throughout my home we're going to be looking at some thrifted pieces and antique pieces so this is going to be a thrifted antique haul and then we're going to be doing a few diys i'm going to be showing you some very simple things that you can do to kind of elevate some of these thrifted and antique pieces and yeah that's what we're going to be doing today so tons of thrifted content will be on my channel this year i am so excited you guys know that i love thrifting so much i actually work at a local thrift store once a week if you don't follow me over on instagram it's just at the simplistic home every single wednesday you will be able to find me on stories over there where i take you with me that particular morning um and show you everything that i find and then i style it in a little section so thrifting is something that is truly just i love it so much <laughs> makes me so happy um one of my favorite hobbies and yeah so i like sharing that here with you guys as well and not only do i style them at the thrift store of course i will purchase items for my own home and show you guys how i style them here as well so today you're going to be getting a little bit of everything I have a haul, we have some styling, we have some DIY. So enough chatting, let's get into it. I'm gonna start talking about some of my most recent thrifted pieces and how I elevated them and just kind of gave them a refreshed look. So first off, we're gonna be starting with frames. This frame here is um, just like a gold, like a brassy looking color, as you can tell. It does have the detail there on the top, which I love. And um, I just went to Walgreens and printed this art out i actually have several of these i will um pop up a picture here on the screen i went to etsy and bought a bundle of 312 prints vintage prints um i know that sounds extremely overwhelming and probably a bit excessive honestly but my thought process behind it was i will literally never have to buy landscape art in store again more than likely because there was so many to choose from there was something for every single season they had things geared towards fall winter spring summer you name it more neutral pieces like this literally everything so the bundle itself was like originally $60 I purchased it for 17 and as I'm filming this video time out let me see how much it is now and I'll let you guys know Okay, so as of today, January 2nd, it is 70% off. So this bundle is originally basically $60, $59.65, and it is currently $17.90, which is what I paid. A couple of days ago, I looked at it and it was under $15. So you cannot beat it. Um, like I said, you simply just download, uh, you buy the PDF off Etsy, you download whichever pictures you want. This one was super convenient with the bundle. I don't know if all bundles are like this or not. This is actually, the first time I've bought a bundle like this on Etsy, but um, I purchased the bundle and it came with the samples so I could go through the pictures and it had like a little number next to each picture. So what I did, because I only needed a few printed at once, I wrote down the numbers and that way I knew how to refer back and download those specific numbers to my computer. I feel like I'm talking and it's making it very complicated, but I promise you it's super simple. All the directions are on there. So anyways, I will have this link down below, but I had that one printed and for um, that thrifted frame, I also had this one printed, which I think is super pretty. But um, all of these frames I have been able to collect for a um, dollar. Yes, this one was a dollar, this one was a dollar. All of these are a dollar. I have a fourth one here. That was also a dollar and all I did was print off the pictures. Um, I think it cost me around $15 to have the pictures printed. I printed them at Walgreens and I got five 8x10s and two 4x6s and um, it was under $15. So not bad but yes if you can get your hand on thrifted frames highly recommend i have lots of ideas that we're hoping to incorporate into our home this year so i can't wait to share with you guys all of that stuff um i kind of shared it in my previous video whenever we decorated our living room so if you haven't seen that video be sure to check it out i will have it linked down below but um anyway so yes find thrifted frames i also love looking for different vessels and whatnot and i have this vessel right here behind me this one came from a local antique store last fall and I love the brass on there. So I always am looking for unique vessels and bases and just different things like that. And um, I found this one for $8. I just have it styled on our coffee table and I put the, um, what is this stuff? Oh my gosh, 
asparagus fern <laughs> asparagus fern picks inside of it from Hobby Lobby and I love how this looks it looks very like wispy and real and um, I just love the richness of the breast so you can style the vessels on your coffee table like I have I also have vessels styled on our buffet which I will show you guys here in just a second and yeah those are two really great things to look for when you're thrifting I love them so much I think you can do so much with them so Let's go ahead and take a peek at the buffet and I will show you those pieces. Um, but before I do that, before I do that, I do want to mention try to thrift as much furniture as possible as well. So I love getting furniture secondhand. I have so much of it in my home. We have a tufted chair in our corner right next to our fireplace and I spent $27 on it very inexpensive it is such a staple piece we've had it in our home for multiple years now and i love it i just kind of rearrange it from corner to corner from time to time and um, it's definitely a great staple we also have our secretary back here in our corner that used to be in our kitchen and we brought it into our living room to add some depth and some um, just color to that space back there so because it is a secretary desk it does pull down and I can do my work there and whatnot um, if I choose to do so and then over here this black piece of furniture that is a hand-me-down actually that was a secondhand piece to me from my in-laws they had that buffet for quite some time and um, it just needed a lot of work done to it because it had been stored away for years and so back in the fall I actually stripped the whole thing down and um, sanded it down all the things and painted it black and then I added some knobs to it that I ordered from Amazon so I'm gonna show you that real quick and um, show you some DIY options that you can do for furniture as well. Okay, so here is the buffet from a distance. Like I said, um, it was a wood finish, but it did have a ton of veneer on there. So I took all of the veneer off and painted it black. In my house, I do love black furniture. So I have the buffet. I also have a black hutch back there that was also secondhand. And um, yeah, so I really love how this turned out. But as far as the DIY projects go, if you have something that you don't love, clearly paint it. But I also added knobs to this, like I said, these, um, well, this one's clearly loose, but this one's sturdy. So um, anyways, I love how it looked that were like all black, but it just didn't do it for me. I needed something extra. So I took rub and buff and put that on there and it just made it look a lot more polished and um just that like antique vintage vibe i guess polished isn't the right word more so complete is how it looked so i love that and then um as far as the other vessel that i was talking about this one also came from an antique store the day that i purchased the one that was on our coffee table and um that one was like six dollars it was originally from target because it still has the sticker on the bottom but I just filled it with some dried um, sedum that I have outside in the planter boxes. So this is real and I love how that turned out. Um, and as far as thrifting goes, also keep an eye out for vintage like books and whatnot. These actually came from an antique um, like vintage market. So I did find those there, but I have a lot of thrifted books throughout my home. And here are some more thrifted frames. This one is actually thrifted, again for a dollar, just printed off those prints, and I love it. And then something that I have been keeping an eye out for for a very long time, and I'm finally starting to score some, are thrifted lamps. Because if you guys have ever been in um, just big box stores like Walmarts, Targets, um, even Home Goods sometimes, TJ Maxx, their lamps can be overly priced in my opinion. I really don't want to pay like $80 for a lamp if I don't have to. And um, anyways, I found this one at my local thrift store for $8. It came with the shade and I love it. So the base here is like a pottery look. And um, at first I wasn't sure about the color, but again, you can always paint them if you don't like them, but it's starting to grow on me. So it's just kind of like an off-white color and um, it does have a lot of texture in there as you can see. And then the shade is an ivory color and I really like how that has came together. Another thrifted item that I have incorporated into my living room recently, you can't really see it right now, but I will incorporate some clips. It is um, on the opposite side of our couch here. It is a wooden table. It has like spindle details on it. I absolutely love it. I found that for $10. So again, check out your thrift stores. You never know what kind of furniture you're gonna find. But I found it the same day that I found the um, 
lamp with the pleated shade. So I spent under $20 for both of those items, which is insane. So very pleased with that. It's currently still the same wood tone um, as when I purchased it. So I'm still up in the air as to if I'm going to paint it or not but I do love it. I think it was a great find for $10. I love that it has a little shelf on there. We currently have our record player tucked away in there and then underneath I just have a basket that has our Wi-Fi and just like excess wires and whatnot that goes with um, those type of things. So anyways, yes, I absolutely love the table. And I forgot to mention another lamp that I have. It is a brass lamp. I'm not exactly sure the specific term of the lamp. Um, I'll show you guys what it looks like and if you know please leave me a comment down below i always love knowing the technical terms that way i can um, describe them to you guys in the proper way <laughs> so anyways but i love this brass lamp it does have some wood accents on there as well and that was also only eight dollars so again keep an eye out for lamps if you were in the market for that um, after christmas decorating i tend to think that a home can get so dark really fast because you're so used to having the Christmas tree on and just all the lights on garlands and just different things like that. And then when you take that down, all of a sudden it is really dark. <laughs> so incorporating those dimly lit lamps, I think is really, really pretty. Another item that I have thrifted recently is some greenery. So they are little wreaths and I absolutely love thrifting greenery because not only is it most of the time much more unique than what you can find in store, it's also a lot cheaper again most of the time so i found two of these little wreaths they have blueberries on them and they do look very wintry to me and i just have one um i have a it's on the table that i thrifted it has a um chamber stick candle holder on the inside of it i just have that on the table i think it's just a really subtle look and it's very pretty for winter and then i have another one hanging on an entryway like wall that we have just for some pop of color over there and some added greenery and those were only four dollars a piece and i typically wouldn't pay four dollars a piece for a mini wreath um, especially when it's second hand but i found that these were really unique because i never find any that have berries and stuff like that in them as far as um the blue tones and i thought that it really just brought out a little bit more color instead of just the green and i really like those and i think that's something that i can use for years to come all right i'm going to take you guys with me we're going to get off my tripod here and we're going to go into the kitchen and I'm going to show you um, some other things that I have purchased recently that are secondhand to me. One of the things is a new canister set that I am very, very excited about. I actually bought this off of my friend Kaylin. Um, her and I both set up at a Christmas market in December. And um, anyways, I long story short, I have had some copper canisters saved on my Amazon, like my cart, for months now and anyways i never pulled the trigger on buying them because they were like 50 something dollars and it took like a month or two to ship because they were not prime and i really just did not want to gamble with that and um, whenever i was thinking about like after christmas like how i was going to kind of decorate my kitchen a little bit just kind of rearrange and whatnot i remembered she had some copper canisters at the market but i couldn't remember if she sold them or not so I messaged her and she still had them. So I was thrilled. I did purchase these from her. I think they are so pretty. They were $35. So I will show you what they look like here in just a second. Um, yeah, I'll just show you what they look like now. So this is what the canisters look like. I think they are so pretty um, to be determined where they will actually like end up in the kitchen. But I actually don't mind them kind of just like stacked like this in a set of four. But there is um, tea, there's also coffee, flour is back there and sugar as well. So these are something again, kind of like the vessels, just something that I always keep an eye out for. And um, especially if you can get it like really affordable and um, inexpensive, then I think that it can be fun to have an extra set of canisters to just kind of swap out seasonally or however you want to do it if you just want like a new look. But they also came with these scoops and I think that they are so pretty. So I think that those are just really nice to just kind of have sitting here um, on our cutting board. But yeah, so I wanted to show you those. And then also over here, here's like my little stash that I've been um, slowly accumulating. So here are some more thrifted frames. 
I got these over um, probably a week or so ago. Again, this was, this one was $2. Just a wooden frame. I think this is an 11 by 14 because I printed off the 8 by 10 and they were too small. So I believe that is an 11 by 14. And then I also found this one. I really like the shape of it. And um, this one, again, only a dollar. And my plan is, because I'm not a fan of like the bright gold, I want it to look more like this dark, like vintagey gold, is to take the rub and buff, this stuff right here, which I'm almost out actually. This is rub and buff in the antique gold. Wanting to take some of this and um, put it on the frame to give it that vintage look. And to do that, I just take these dry brushes and it's literally so easy, it takes like seconds and it makes all the difference. So that's what I'm planning to do with this one. And then also when it comes to thrifting, you need to kind of think out of the box a little bit. So I found this picture. Um, I'm not a fan of the actual photo in the frame at all. So what I'm planning to do is remove the back in here, like all of this, just completely rip it off. Let's see how this turns out trying to do this one handed and um anyways undo the um staples there and take the actual photo out and then i will be able to put a piece of art in here and um i really love the detail on the actual frame itself and this one was two dollars also and this thing is huge as you guys can tell it takes up like most of the counter space right there Something else I like to thrift are candle holders. So I found this one at an antique store actually. I loved the scallop detail on here. And um, I love lighting this, little tea light, but I'm again, not a fan of the like bright gold. I had it bright gold for Christmas time because it went more with my like Christmas aesthetic. But just for like everyday decor, it doesn't go that great. So again, planning to rub and buff that. So if I can get some rub and buff out of this tube, we will do some of these DIYs together. I'm wanting to do that one and this frame also. But um, here's my Walgreens photos. <laughs> so funny. So anyways, I've also been collecting some things for a spring market that I'm going to be doing in April. And um, I have some baskets. So thrifted baskets, always good. I love this little tray. I'm actually contemplating keeping this myself. I think this would be so pretty for jewelry and whatnot. And um, it's also something I like to keep an eye out for. Just little like trinket trays and things like that. I think they can be styled in a unique way or you can even like put a candle on this if you want. Okay, one other thing I thrifted recently um, or bought secondhand, I guess, off of a friend. She was selling some things on Facebook and it is this drying rack. So I love this. This thing is huge. And I love that it also has this little bottom so you can put like cups or something in there or just any type of uh, dish that will fit and yeah so this one was under under five dollars i want to say she sold it for four um i believe but anyway great find so if you can find something like this in good shape at a thrift store i say pick it up if you are in need of it i feel like i could truly just sit here for hours and explain all every single piece that i've ever thrifted it's in every single room as i was Talking about all of these things, I'm looking around my house and I'm like, oh, that's thrifted, that's thrifted, that's thrifted. So, if there is ever a time where you guys just want to be bombarded with all the thrift things in one video, I can sit down and I can show you every piece I've ever thrifted. It would take time and um, a lot of patience on your guys' end if you wanted to sit there and listen to like a 45 minute video on all the things it could just be really fun like we can just throw some stuff up and we don't have to explain every little detail like I'm doing today but let me know down in the comments if you would like to see that because I think that would be super fun to see someone's curated collection and um, yeah you don't have to know all the detail about everything you can just simply show the item and move along to the next so let me know down in the comments what you think about that but Two other things I want to mention and then we will finish up today's video but um 
some trays and also baskets so yes people talk about baskets you can use baskets for everything for blankets for storage for organization for planters things like that and i love a good basket as well so as far as basket goes currently i have a basket in my living room or my dining room that um has blankets inside and then i have like some greenery sticking out of it to kind of give it a more complete look i have it next to my hutch i found that at a local antique store it's a really large like heavy duty basket i want to say it was around like 20 to 25 dollars and um yes you can find them at those prices at like big box stores but this one was just really unique and something um like the quality of it was really good so i did purchase that and then i also have a tray and according to everyone that has ever seen this tray in any of my videos it is from pampered chef originally i found it at the thrift store for like eight dollars and um i use it in different places throughout my home it's currently on my dining room table i have an arrangement up there with some candlesticks and a book box and i love it so if you can keep an eye out for good baskets good trays frames dish racks vessels what else did we cover today thrifted books um I can't even think of everything we covered so much just lots of different things i love incorporating them into my home i think it just makes a home feel very lived in very like just warm and inviting and um yeah so anyways i will end today's video here but if you are looking to spruce up your home and wanting to do it affordably be sure to check out your thrift stores and antique stores thrift stores are always a little more cheaper so keep it yeah, like, keep that in mind but you can still find some great pieces and antique stores for great prices. And if you are wanting to um, zhuzh anything up and you like that brass and gold look, check out the Rub and Buff. I will have that link down below for you guys. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I would love to have you here at The Simplistic Home. I share all things intentional living, affordable decorating, and thrifting. Thank you guys for being here and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.